Hello, 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 Africa Engineering News family. How are you? How are you? How are you? Welcome, come on through. I hope you have been well navigating this built environment of ours, enjoying life wherever you are across the globe. Thank you for taking a moment to, you know, check out what Africa Engineering is all about. Africa Engineering News is all about, right? Making the technical practical, bring you the latest in all things engineering, innovation, and all around STEM. Um, have updates happening across the African continent. Yes, that's what we do. Um, my name is Winnie O. Oh, you know, I'm the one who's like in the background <laughs> um, sharing all this, you know, good information with y'all. Um, and I hope that you're finding it beneficial for your respective uh, needs and you know educational awareness um i won't be long um if you haven't noticed one of the things that um you'll be seeing more of from this platform african engineering news is um our series on on the narrative africa right because because oftentimes um one of the things we talk about especially as africans um throughout the diaspora right is the the need to not only change the narrative, because for the longest time we were talking about we need to change the narrative of what Africa is or is not, you know, and all that is Africa or being African, you know, all and all that that entails. And so um, I hope that you will, you know, continue to join us um, for our for the uh, own the narrative Africa um, sessions. Uh, we'll try to do them at least once a month, if not twice a month, depending on how. Um, the content is ramping up. Um, but yeah, we're going to start up probably more of as a monthly series. So, um, but again, I'll keep doing the, you know, weekly highlight reviews with you guys. Um, but yeah, if you haven't checked out the website yet, there's a bunch of like really, really good quick reads as usual, but very informative um, articles on the website. That's at www.africaengineeringnews.com. And yeah, please do check it out. Um, there's usually funding uh, for startups, um, you know, various opportunities. Bam, like, tis the season. If you if you're trying to do something, if you're trying to do for the culture, this is the season. What I, sis, bro, whatever that idea you have, whatever that innovation that you have that you know um, can be like impactful in a positive manner to the continent and to the people on the continent and throughout the diaspora, bam, tis the season, go ahead, do it. And there's a ton of um, funding support. There's a ton of um, startup incubators and policies, right? Policies are being created to, you know, make those spaces more equitable, more, you know, representative of the, you know, population that they're supposed to be serving. And so with that said, um, you know, go, go ahead and jump into this, uh, uh, weeks or you know just a couple highlights from the web website um you know our first featured article that I'll you know shout out to today is titled cybersecurity creating a secure culture now this is a feature from no before I actually really like their content I really do um um they you know they undertook a recent study um to examine the behavior and security culture of more than you know 97,000 different organizations worldwide and you know pretty much the study dug down into you know understanding the building blocks the core components of what you know um what goes into having a you know security culture how do you create it how you how you make sure it's sustainable you know how do you get you know buy in from you, the people that you work with or who work within your organizations and so um so I ended up, well, no before, ended up focusing on seven components, and I'll give you three of them, okay, uh, uh, that that feed into, you know, security culture. And we're talking about cybersecurity here, but it could be applicable to, in, in other uh, ways. But in, in, in terms of, of cybersecurity, um, the three of the seven components um, include attitude, right, cult behavior, and compliance, right? I'll give you this read. The rest, go ahead and read. It's a quick read. Trust me, you want to go check it out. And there's also the link to the study has been embedded in the article. You're welcome. Uh, so again, three of the seven principles that, you know, feed into a security culture or a, an effective security culture or a, a progressive security culture is the attitude of your um, organization, 
um, behavior of the people as well as the compliance culture that you may have. Um, so yeah, th this is so important, especially as, you know, the African continent um, moves into this, you know, digital, you know, era where everything pretty much, you know, has gone digital, <laughs> you know, we're no longer analog, as my grandma used to say, she's like, I'm not analog, I'm digital now. So, Yay, go ahead, you know, you do it. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, for more information on this topic, on this article, please check it out on the website. Yes, you're welcome. Um, the next featured article for today is titled G Digital Inclusion uh, Research Focuses on Women's Access to Loans and Microinsurance. Now, this is so important because what? Equitable, re equitable representation is so essential across the, you know, the global market, across, um, you know, industry demographics, like representation absolutely matters, right? And so especially, you know, in our African um, spaces, you know, across the African nations, um, digital inclusion, you know, is still one of those areas that are struggling. We're, we're struggling to see um, representation, especially by women or like non-dominant culture of those spaces, um, really step in and, you know, get more ownership and more leadership uh, roles in this digital um, literacy, digital um, culture. Right. It's a lot of cultural movements going on. So this digitization space. Right. Um, and so, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, we see that we see better inclusivity. Um, um, and so the African Development Bank um, has approved two grant, uh, two grants for research um, that will increase African women's access to a range of digital financial services, including loans and micro loan, micro insurances. And the grants are for one million and three hundred thousand dollars, respectively. That will be um, given uh, through the Africa Digital Financial Inclusion Facility, um, and these will be, you know, uh, supported by uh, two uh, financial technology firms, Paula Advisory Kenya Limited and M Copa Kenya. Okay. Yes, I am here for it. I am here for it. Go ahead, ladies. So yeah, sisters, if, you, if you're trying to get into the um, digital space, you know, of things, like, go ahead, sis, innovate, innovate and elevate yeah, in 2021, because we're here. Yeah? Life, life, is, life is opening up these opportunities. Please do so. Please do so. Um, yeah. Yeah. So for more information on that uh, topic, please check out the article on the website. And it's again, it's on the feature slider. So just slide on through. Can't miss it. Uh, our third featured article for today is titled Rise Africa's New Action Festival Highlights Urban Innovation in African Cities. Now, this is important, right? Because when we talk about urbanization, we talk about, you know, development or economic development. Um, especially as we see, you know, more migration from the rural areas into our urban spaces, right? Because that's usually how it happens. Um, you know, we want to make sure that we're doing it, especially looking at the long range plan of things. We want to make sure that it is sustainable in the long term, as well as, um, you know, you know, welcoming to those who perhaps are new to those urban spaces and centers. And so, you know, Rise Africa, the Rise Africa platform will be hosting its first annual event uh, that brings together, you know, Africa's urban thinkers, doers, enablers, and, you know, so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, in including your government agencies and your governmental representatives. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and this will be taking place from um, May 24th to the 28th. And, you know... And, you know, the event obviously has been planned around what? Africa Day, you know, which is on 25th. And this year's theme is titled uh, Next Urban Champions. Might, might you be among that number? I hope so. I hope so. Um, yeah. And so according to the director of the African Center for Cities, Edgar uh, Peters, uh, Rise Africa, he states that Rise Africa is going to become one of the most important platforms where innovators from different sectors across the African continent will come together, right? Um, ugh, will, will come together to become champions and advocates for the kind of African driven innovation that is required to both understand and resolve our problems, okay? Um, 
And this won't just be a talk shop, um, but it will be an immersive experience that will give the people exposure to fantastic ideas and creativity. Yes, you need both. In innovation, you obviously need ideas and you need to be creative. We need to support those among us, the creatives among us, the innovators, the out, the out of the box thinkers, right? The quirky, you know, idea people. Support them, right? Because that is how we evolve. That is how we, you know, elevate to that next level of, you know, mm, excellence. Yes, yes, I'm him here for it. I'm here for it. So yeah, if you, if any of those three um, tickle your fancy, again, that's the cybersecurity, creating a secure culture by I know before, or the digital inclusion research um, that focuses on women's access to loans and microinsurance. And the third one is Rise Africa's new action festival highlights urban innovation in 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 African cities. Sorry about that. Um, if any of these um, interest you, please go ahead check check them out on the website. Again, that's the www.africaengineeringnews.com or on the social media platforms at Africa Engineering News. Yes. Now it checks us for our next segment, which is the events, upcoming events highlighted on the Africa Engineering News page. Quick plug, if you or your organization would like your event featured on the Africa Engineering News uh, events calendar, feel free to connect with us, DM, send an email, go on the website, you know, slide into these social media platforms. We'll, we'll get back to you. Um, but for your information and awareness, obviously the... Um, Africa CDC has been having this co the COVID related web uh, webinar series. The current one is on information management system, and that's Thursdays at eight a.m. East Eastern Standard Time. Um, the, and we also have the Konza Innovation Challenge. Um, funding applications are due March nineteenth. That's right around the corner. Okay, if you're trying to get you know that money, okay, from the Konza Innovation Challenge, please do so. Right. Go ahead. Get your ideas funded. I am all about, you know, creating, helping people, you know, find opportunities to launch their big ideas, help you, you know, take your idea to that next level. Absolutely. Yeah. Why not? I know. Why not? Also, um, the Africa, sorry, the Afri Labs Hub um, Learning Week will be taking place March 22nd to 26th. Please do register for those. Um, and this will be the 5th of 12th of 12 planned hub learning week um, kickoffs. And this one again, um, it will be, you know, the five days and it will have seven sessions. And, you know, you can possibly, you could end up winning uh, one of three meetup grants of 2,000 euros. Yeah. Um, you know, if you wanna go ahead and connect with your fellow, uh, and you know, ecosystem enablers, <clears throat> pardon, stakeholders and other network um, members across um, the African continent. So, hey, listen, if this, if, if this, you know, piques your interest, please, please, please do check, check it out again. Um, our events, we have a quick events highlights on the side of uh, the webpage, or you can just go click on the events page and voila, there you are on all the featured upcoming events. Also, don't forget DOA's next monthly webinar is coming up shortly. That'll be at the end of this month on March 27th. That's from 10 to 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. And this uh, upcoming one is titled The Journey of the African Student in the Diaspora College to Career. And so with that, I hope we have given you, I hope I have given you enough, you know, yeah, incentive to go, you know, go ahead, check out the latest happenings on um, Africa's, you know, STEM updates um, highlighted, you know, for, for you, our, our committed viewers, our new viewers and potential um, uh, partners. Uh, go ahead and check it out on the webpage. Um, and again, if you'd like your information featured on AfricaEngineeringNews.com, don't, you know, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, so like, share, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Uh, for the latest to stay connected so you know when we're having these live sessions, when the latest articles are popping up, when deadlines are approaching, especially for those funding opportunities. Yes. So until next time, please take care of yourselves out there. Be well, be safe. And in all you do, be encouraged. Be encouraged, family. And so I'll see y'all next time. Ciao.